After losing Julian Edelman in last week's preseason game, the Patriots suffered another setback on Thursday. At 8.38 of the second quarter, Cyrus Jones went down with an injury to his right knee. The second-year player was slow to get up after getting tripped up during pass coverage. He soon departed to the locker room and the Patriots ruled him out. An injury to Jones although not nearly as impactful as the injury to Edelman, would have some adverse effects on the Patriots roster, mainly at punt returner. With Edelman lost for the season, Jones was in line to take over the punt returning duty. This summer, the defensive back has been the only member of the Patriots to return a punt in a game. If Jones misses any time, the Patriots might be forced to use Danny Amendola as a returner. Although Amendola has a wealth of knowledge and experience there, it's also the spot where he has been injured twice in the past two seasons. That Edelman is gone also would put more of an emphasis on Amendola in the Patriots' offense, especially on third down, so using him as a returner involves some risk. Since Jones is the only player, before Thursday, to return a punt this preseason, his injury could open a spot to someone like D. J. Foster, who has limited punt return experience. The backup's night. Thursday night's preseason finale wasn't exactly a dress rehearsal for the Patriots. Instead, the night belonged to Jacoby Brissett and his fellow backups. Tom Brady and most of the Patriots' offensive and defensive starters got the night off as their teammates went up against the New York Giants in the preseason finale. Brady finishes the preseason completing 75%, 18 of 24, of his passes in two preseason games. He threw for 241 yards to go along with three touchdowns and one interception. Overall, Brady and the first team offense looked ready to start the 2017 season. Backup Jimmy Garoppolo also got the night off. The quarterback had an up and down summer, but was solid, for the most part, in the preseason. He completed 69.8%, 44 of 63, of his passes in three preseason games. Garoppolo threw for 463 yards to go along with three touchdowns and one interception. He was sacked four times this summer but still managed to put up a quarterback rating of 100.1. This wasn't the first time that the Patriots handed the final preseason game to their third-string quarterback. It was similar in 2015 when Ryan Lindley played the entire game. Back in 2013, Tim Tebow got the majority of reps at quarterback for the Patriots as well. Overall, the team had 81 players in uniform, but none of the projected starters were on the field. On defense, the Patriots started Geno Grissom, Woodrow Hamilton, Darius Kilgo, Mikey Bart, Brooks Ellis, Jonathan Freeney, Trevor Bates, D. J. 
Jay Killings, Cyrus Jones, Kenny Moore, David Jones, and Dom Arias Travis. The starting offense, with Brissett, included LaShawn Daniels, Tony Washington, Austin Carr, James O'Shaughnessy, Jacob Hollister, Connor McDermott, Cole Croston, Ted Karras, Jameel Douglas and Adrian Waddle. The Patriots had nine players not in uniform on Thursday. That list included Julian Edelman, Nate Hebner, Harvey Longy, Keonta Davis, Shea McClellan, Tony Garcia, Andrew Jelks, Deatrich Wise, and Derek Rivers. Devlin can snap. The Patriots selected Joe Cardona in the fourth round, 166th overall, in 2015, making him the fourth long snapper to be drafted in NFL history. The U.S. Naval Academy graduate has since excelled at delivering precise spirals to kicker Steven Gostkowski and punter Ryan Allen. Although Cardona hasn't missed a game as a pro, the Patriots still need to have a contingency plan in case of injury. Rob Ninkovich filled the role of emergency long snapper for quite some time until he retired in July. That job now apparently belongs to fullback James Devlin who was spotted prior to last week's preseason game against the Detroit Lions trading long snaps with rookie tackle Connor McDermott. I dabbled in it a little bit in college, said Devlin, a 2010 graduate of Brown University. It's just something that I always tried to work on and stay as good as I could at the skill. I've never actually done it in a competitive situation, but it's something that I've practiced over the past few years and, if the coaches needed me in that situation, I would try to be as ready as possible for it. A one cut down camp. There weren't many starters on the field, if any at all, but not all was lost for the Patriots on Thursday night. This game was all about bubble players trying to prove their worth and it comes at a good time. On Saturday, the NFL will have one massive cutdown day as teams go from 90 players to 53. This is the first offseason during which teams did not have a cutdown from 90 to 75 players. During the pre-game show, Bill Belichick told 98.5 The Sports Hub that he liked that teams had only one cut. Well, I think it'll been good for those players, the 75 to 90 group, because it's given them a chance and real opportunity to show what they can do in practice and tonight in the game, Belichick said. A couple of guys were banged up and missed some time earlier in camp, we'll just take advantage of this week and all the guys that are here and play, we want to take a look at them and give them a fair chance and fair look and see what they can do. This game also gave some coaches a chance to branch out. Instead of Matt Patricia calling the defense, it was linebackers coach Brian Flores. Patriots receivers coach Chad O'Shea got a chance to call.